The Trouble with Old Steam Locomotives, Part 9. This needs some urgent attention. And just what is it and what's wrong with it? It's a check valve or clack valve that connects the hand pump to the boiler. What's wrong with the check valve? Well, it's corroded, badly corroded. And how did it get like this? Well, it must have sprung a leak at some time and nobody bothered to fix it. So it just gets worse and worse and worse and the electrolytic action destroys the fitting. Watch this. I just touched it with a pair of pliers and it dropped off. I think this is the worst example I've ever seen of neglect. Not only did the entire fitting come away from the boiler, even the corned union disintegrated. Before I go any further, I need to get rid of all the corrosion. And I have a bit of a problem. Stuck in the boiler bush is what's left of this fitting. These are quality fittings as well, made by Chris at CME Engineering, but unfortunately no brass fitting is immune to corrosion the way this one's corroded. And now it's top tip time. How to get the broken piece of this fitting out of the boiler bush. I can't get a drill in there to drill it out and that would be risky anyway. I'm going to show you how I did it. First of all, I sprayed the area with WD-40. You've just seen me threading the old fitting. This was to find out what the size of the hole was down the centre and it was perfect to be threaded 2BA. So what I'm doing, using a tap wrench and a 2BA tap, is I'm threading the broken part of the fitting. Normal tapping size for 2BA is 5 30 seconds of an inch, but the hole in the clack valve was slightly bigger than this. It's important to use the right size of tap relative to the hole size of the fitting. If the hole is small and the tap is too big, you could just screw the broken part through into the boiler, which would not be good. Once I'd threaded the broken part of the clack valve in the bush, 2BA, I screwed in a 2BA bolt, just to check that it fitted OK. It's not exactly a tight fit, in fact, it's a bit slack really. Now comes the clever part. I remove the bolt and I coat it with some Loctite 603, which is a very powerful retaining compound. I'm putting plenty of 603 on the bolt to make sure that the threads are well coated. Then I screw the bolt in place and just leave it there. It's very important to allow time for the 603 to cure. So while that's happening, I'm removing the pipe that goes from the hand pump to the clack on the boiler. I'm going to discard this pipe and make up a new pipe. This is where the old meets the new. There's the new clack to be fitted, it's in the centre, and here's the piece of pipe that I'm going to solder fittings on the end of, which will make up the water pipe link from the hand pump to this new clack. It's time to go into the outer part of the workshop. I cleaned up the ends of the copper pipe first using some Scotch Brite, and here I've just applied some Easy Flow number no. 2 flux, followed by a union cone on each of the ends of the pipe. I have, by the way, put the nuts on the pipe first. All I need to do now is raise the temperature high enough to melt the silver solder. But what's happening here is there's a little bit too much flux and it's blobbing at the bottom. So I've removed a tiny bit of the flux with the silver solder stick before it melts properly. And here it is melted properly. And as you can see, the silver solder flashes around the joint. One more time on the other end of the pipe. All I have to do is let it cool to black, quench it in water and then clean up the pipe. And after a while, it looks like this. The new clack is the one on the top left. The old clack, which is going in the bin, is in the centre. And by this time, the Loctite 603 is fully cured. So it's a simple job just to rotate the bolt, if I can get the spanner on it, and remove the part that's broken off in the bush. I was lucky this came out very easily. I didn't stage this, this is just as I removed it. I didn't remove it first, screw it back in, and then take it out for the video. This is the way it came out. And if I want to reuse the 2BA bolt, all I have to do is heat it up a little bit and just screw off the piece of broken clack valve. So I'll keep the bolt and throw everything else in the bin. Now it's time to fit the new check valve or clack valve to the boiler. First of all, I did a test fit and I found that it needed two shim washers to make it sit in the right position once it was tightened up into the bush. Then I applied some Loctite 542, simply screwed the new clack valve into the old bush. I'm actually voicing this over on Valentine's night, February the 14th, 2020. The age of romance is not yet dead. 
if you're struggling a bit with your love life, here's a St. Valentine's verse for you. Roses are red, violets are blue. I've got a knife, get in the van. And for those viewers who take life very seriously, that was a joke, a play on words. And to finish, a health and safety warning. Under no circumstances should you say that to any potential girlfriend. And that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found it useful. I'll just run the engine, I think. Please take the time to visit my Mainstream Models website. Click on the section of the website that says Video Playlists. And by doing that, you will find it very easy to find other videos that you may like to watch.